This tutorial goes over the uh, Cadence ICFB workflow. Um, it covers how you do the um, DRC, LVS, and parasitic extractions. And it takes place after you finish uh, doing the place and route and encounter. So um, here we have an encounter block that has been placed and routed as a USART block. And after you've finished all the place and route, you should have saved the, uh, the GDS for it. So that would be over here, save GDS Oasis. And then in the encounter tutorial, basically it'll cover how you uh, save it, save the uh, particular GDS. So that GDS is gonna be needed for the stream and into Cadence. Okay. So assuming you've done all of that, going to bring up a new terminal then you want to change over to your cadence directory and start up cadence So the first thing you want to do before you stream in is to actually create the library to stream the cell into. To do that, you go to File, New, Library. And here you would type in the name. For this particular case, I'm just going to call it Tutorial USART. Now, this step is very important to attach to an existing tech file. If you don't attach to uh, the correct tech file, what happens is when you stream in, you'll get errors, there will be layers missing, that sort of thing. So you want to attach to TSMC N65. Then once the library is created, we can start the stream in. To do that, you go to File, Import, Stream. So the input, you fill out uh, three different things into this dialog box in order to do, do the stream in. The first is input file. So that is the GDS file that you saved at the end of uh, the encounter flow. So wherever you saved it, you would find that file and reference it right here. So in this case, it's called usart reconfig fft.gds. Now the top cell name is basically the name that was assigned to the top cell when you were doing the behavioral Verilog. So if I were to bring out where I store this file, you start reconfig ft.v. This is the behavioral Verilog file that I used to synthesize this block. If you open it up, the uh, once you open it up, it will be the first thing after module. That's your top cell name. So in this case it's usart reconfig FFT with underscores in between. And that's exactly what I'm going to type in right here. Usart reconfig FFT. And then library name is the library that you just created. In this case I called it TUT underscore usart. Then you click OK and wait for it to stream in. And once the stream is complete, you should get no errors and three warnings. Going back to the library manager, you find the library that you just streamed into. And the top cell name is the name that you want to go into. So again, it was usart underscore reconfig underscore FFT. If you go to that cell name and you open the layout view. So the first thing you want to do is you want to check to see that uh, the stream in was successful. And the way you would do that is you would just zoom in into the cell, make sure there are no metal layers missing, that everything looks like a normal layout. Now, before we begin uh, doing the DRC and LVS, 
uh, what we want to do is we want to fix the pin labels. So the way we do our encounter flow, oftentimes there's like hundreds of pins placed close together and all of them have labels that are um, pretty large and basically unreadable. So we want to resize them to a point where they are readable. And the way we do that is we select the metal layer that the pins are on. In this case, this is metal two pin. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to my layout layer selection window and then find M2 pin. So if I only wanna select this layer, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click NS, which is no select. And then if I right click M2 pin, then I can only select that particular layer. So if I make a big box, you can see that this set of pin labels is selected and this set of pin labels is selected. Nothing else is selected. So first I'm gonna fix these uh, pin labels at the top. So I'm gonna press key Q to bring up the property editor. Then to have your changes applied to everything you've selected, you wanna click on this common button now the, uh, the size of the pin labels is currently set to one micron, which is way too big. I'm gonna change that to 0 0.3. And also I'm going to change the rotation to 90 degrees. Then if we zoom in to the area we just changed, we see that all of the pin labels not only are much smaller, but they've been rotated to go, uh, to go upwards. And that makes it yeah, basically readable as you're working with this layout cell. Doing the same to the bottom set. Again, common, height 0 0.3. Now for this rotation, if we set it to 90 degrees, the text goes upwards. And for pin labels on the bottom, we want them to go downwards. So the rotation will be 270 degrees. Once again, if we zoom in, we see that uh, these are very readable now and we can use these to easily align pins when we're putting together the layouts. Now we also have layer pin labels on the left and right side and these are usually on metal 3. So what I have to do is go back to my layer selection window. I'm going to right click M2 pin in order to put it back on the no select and then right click M3. Common and again changing the height. Now since the text is already going horizontal we don't need to change the rotation just the height size. Then we see that it is readable. So once you're done with all of that you can click on AS for all select so that you have cadence working like normal where you can select anything. So at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and save this layout and then begin, uh, begin the DRC. So to start the DRC, you open up Caliber, run DRC. So um, the first thing that pops up will be a dialog box that uh, basically save some of the old uh, run sets that you might have used in the past. If, you, if this is your first time using DRC, then this will be completely empty. And a run set is basically, uh, it just saves all of your configurations for running the DRC. So I'm gonna assume that you have a blank one. So I'm gonna click cancel. So everything is just blank. Now, if you look over at this left side, uh, you'll see that most of, the, uh, most of this side is green which means like there are actually valid, uh, valid entries put into the forms. If you go over to the one thing that's red, basically anything that's red is like an invalid entry. So DRC rule file. Um, the correct rule file you can actually find uh, on the wiki. So I'm gonna do that right now. 